Hello and welcome to Customer Insights in Under 5. My name is John Weezy, and in this episode, I want to walk you through some of the new export destinations that we've recently released. So to begin with, I'm just going to go over to the export destinations. You may have noticed that a number of these have begun to show up with the setup button next to them. So I'd like to go through a few of these in particular that you may have uh, noticed have turned on recently um, and uh, have been added to allow you to export segments from customer insights over into your marketing um, destinations. So the first one is dot digital. Here you can see that you can export your segments that are created in customer insights into dot digital uh, marketing automation application in order to do or to use those segments there. So I'm not going to walk through all these like I did with the Facebook video that I did, but just wanted to show you some of the information that you'll need. So you, of course, will need a dot digital subscription. Um, beyond that, you'll give it a name, uh, the username and password that you need, and then the address book ID from dot digital that you're going to use um, and agree to the terms there. So you want to read through that. Um, once you've done all that, then it's just like everything else. You're just going to select the segments that you want to export and export them. Next up is Google Ads. So again, same thing here as with Facebook ads. You're exporting your segments to use in targeted advertising on Google uh, or through Google. You're going to just give it a name. Uh, you give it your Google Ads customer ID and your developer token. And again, agree to, agree to the terms and uh, the data privacy and compliance terms. And then uh, give it your Google Ads customer list ID, so the particular list that you want it to go into. Uh, and then hit connect. And just like all the other ones, you pick the segments that you're going to export. And then those segments can be used in Google Ads to do targeted advertising. MailChimp. So if you're familiar with MailChimp, it's uh, really just a mailing service that you can use. It does a lot of tracking and analytics for you. Um, here, you are basically giving it uh, your display name, agreeing to the privacy again, and then connecting to MailChimp. So when you click on Connect, it's going to ask you to log into MailChimp um, and do all that sort of stuff. You pick the audience ID from MailChimp that you're going to use, and again, export your segments um, over to MailChimp, and the mail gets sent, and so on. So great way to use Customer Insights integrated into MailChimp. Next up, uh, another tool that you may be familiar with, Marketo. So here in Marketo, same thing. You're going to give it a name. You give it some of the information it needs from Marketo, the client ID, the client secret, the REST endpoint host name, and the list ID that you want to use or pump these into, and agree to the privacy and compliance again, and then you're all set to connect Customer Insights to Marketo and begin using Marketo for your mailing and um, other features that Marketo provides you as a marketing automation suite. Okay, that gives us a quick intro into some of the new export destinations that you have as part of Customer Insights to get you connected into your digital marketing automation suites. Hope you found this video helpful uh, and tune in for other videos as we release them.